Hello Taurus and welcome to your bonus reading for the month of April. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really excited. This is the first reading I'm doing in the month of April. So I had to start with Taurus, obviously. Okay, we're going to start by picking the energy supporting you right now, Taurus. Taurus. What is the energy supporting us right now? Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords has been coming up a lot uh, in a lot of readings as general energy. It's weird that it's coming up another time. So the Nine of Swords is a lot about fears. The fears that we have that might not be true, okay? So... Any nine in the tarot, any number nine is really intense. It's us about to change something, end something, close an important chapter. So there's a lot of fear coming up. But the swords are the nervous system in the brain. I repeat that all the time, but it's important that we understand that. The swords are not necessarily reality. They're not something that's necessarily happening in the real world. It's our brain telling us something. So there could be fear, you know, coming up for you about something. Are those fear true? What it is? What is that thing that you've been anxious about, that you've been focusing on? This is not a negative card at all. There's no negative and positive in the tarot. It's just energy. So this card comes up a lot when we we're experiencing some type of fear or energy that might not be true. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? So there's definitely options. There could be some type of decision that you want to make in this month. Um, the Seven of Cups is an invitation to make sure that the things that you want, the things that you're manifesting, is it really what you want? Is it changing? You know, um, I love that. I think that there's definitely a lot to think about when we see those two cards together. Let's put them here. Beautiful. Okay. So let's start with the tarot and see what this is all about. What do we need to know for Taurus? What do we need to know for Taurus? One, two. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So again, I feel like there's something happening in your head. You know, there's something in your mind that's like, I need to move on from this person or I need to move on from this energy that I'm trapped in. Um, you could definitely be <sighs> reminiscing on the past, feeling like there is, again, either something or someone that you want to release with the Queen of Cups, you're going to be facing a lot of deep, deep feelings when it comes to a situation. We'll see what it's all about, but I think that your brain is telling you, move on, let it go. This is not going to happen. Um, why are you still thinking about this person? Why are you still thinking about this situation? So with the Nine of Swords... I do feel like there is definitely some type of energy that needs to be released, but it's not easy. It's not easy. And I feel like with the Queen of Cups, it's a confirmation that these feelings are coming up in waves. Sometimes you're like, I haven't thought of this person for two whole days. And then you go to bed or you wake up and you're like, why am I thinking about this person right now? Why am I thinking about this situation? Um, there could be unfinished business or still, you know, a lot of things left unsaid. We'll see what this situation is all about. But deep feelings, uh, emotionally, mentally, you're going through a lot, but you're not showing that. It's cups, swords. You're not showing necessarily to the people around you what you're experiencing right now, which it could be a lot higher of 
The Hierophant always comes up when you need to express something, when you need to use your throat chakra. This is your card. This is you. And the Hierophant is the throat chakra. I feel like Again, this is my confirmation that there's a lot of mystery around what you're going through. So I feel like your brain is like going a thousand miles an hour. This to me looks like someone who is either grieving someone or going through some type of heartbreak in silence. They're not telling their friends or their people. So there could be some type of secret associated to that situation. Um, I'm hearing you're not alone. You're not alone. It keeps coming up for me. So again, Taurus, of course, of course you're keeping that for yourself. So Hierophant is here to tell you, like, how can you open up? Well, you see, yeah, we have the Eight of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like communication definitely could be something that will help you get to the next level of healing, moving on if it's something that you want. If you're dealing with a water sign also, you could definitely receive some type of communication, okay? Uh, eight of Wands, so fast communication, some type of intense energy coming in. I do feel like this could be someone reaching out. Again, we have High Priestess, so this could be Pisces energy. But to me, High Priestess is any water sign. I also personally connect this energy to Scorpio a lot. There's a lot of mystery when it comes to water signs. Uh, you could have water in your chart, definitely. I feel like with the three of pentacles, there's something about timing. Something is asking you to be patient and you're fed up. You're fed up of being patient is what I'm hearing. You don't want to be trapped into this unknown energy. Like, I just want a message. I just want simple communication and answer. And this could be about anything. It doesn't have to be about another person. It could definitely be about work. I feel like there could be something that you really want, Taurus. And you're like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know which where to go. I don't know. And it sucks to be in the unknown. It's not easy to not know, okay? And that's why we love tarot so much. That's why we're always trying to predict. There is something calling you to be patient, respect either another person's timing, your own timing, especially if you've been bringing yourself down because you're not moving on as fast as you would want to from, you know, either heartbreak, a past connection. Um, there's definitely unfinished business. A cycle was never properly closed. It feels like you never got the answers you were looking for. But when you distance yourself from all of this with the Seven of Cups, I feel like a part of you know that it was supposed to happen this way. You might not truly want or need this thing that you've been waiting for. There could be definitely something better waiting for you. And we'll see where, when we clarify, of course, what is the energy coming up for you. But be nicer to yourself, Taurus. I feel like... You're definitely hard on yourself right now, again, because you don't understand why you're so attached to this thing, this energy, this person. Um, I feel like it looked so good before. It looks so good. See, we have the two of pentacles in the reverse. You're definitely impatient. And that's totally fine. Like, I'm not here judging you. Who's patient? I know I hear I hear a lot of people say that Taurus are patient, but I'm really conflicted about that. I feel like no human beings are patient, especially in the time that we're living now, like fast delivery, fast connection. You know, you can just talk to someone by sending them a text and we always want things now and we want them fast. 
So it's it's really difficult to be in the unknown. With the two of pentacles in the reverse, to me, this is like, again, your relationship with timing. Um, and we go from the three of pentacles to the two of pentacles in the reverse. Again, there's some type of in and out feeling. Some days you're like, I'm doing great. I'm so happy I'm not connected to this person anymore. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be. And I'm, I'm content and I'm moving on. And then one day something happens and you're like, shit, okay. I'm definitely still attached to something. I'm definitely still experiencing a lot of emotion. Again, the high priestess is like... High Priestess, Queen of Cups, this is like emotions coming in waves. You know, when you think about the High Priestess, think about the ocean and the waves of the ocean. Um, things come in in cycles. So this is not a constant energy, but it's been following you around for a while. And I think you're definitely ready to release. But something is making it really hard. We have, oh, oh. Okay, we have the strength card. So we have two infinity loop next to each other. You know how much I love this symbol, um, especially in tarot, because there's only three cards really with the infinity loop and you have two of them here. So there is a special, special connection between you and someone else. Um, definitely something intense intense that you're experiencing and that's why it's hard for you to move on uh with the page of pentacles it feels like there is some type of calling to go back to the roots to let yourself experience these things it's definitely not easy what you're going through again i feel like you've been hard on yourself telling yourself i know better like, I know better. Why am I still hanging on? There is definitely a lot to think about here and a lot to journal on. Um, this is something really deep. It's something that is, it's coming up from your foundations, your past, the way you were raised, things you experienced as a kid, as a teenager. Like, it's, it's so much deeper than just, getting answers in the tarot there's something incredibly powerful connecting you to this person or this thing or this situation this job whatever it is that you're hanging on to and i feel like it's some type of memory you are kind of holding on to the feelings of the beginning is what I'm hearing. Let's take another deck, Taurus. I definitely want to dive deeper here. I want to know about the potential outcome and how this situation will unfold for Taurus. Taurus, give me the potential outcome coming up for Taurus in this situation two cards here three cards so we have the death card the seven of pentacles and the nine of pentacles so there is beautiful expansion we go from waiting being patient accepting to the nine of pentacles and the death card you could definitely be dealing with again scorpio another earth sign someone with strong earth in their chart doesn't have to but there is so much contradictive energy in this reading it's 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 really special to see that um so with the seven of pentacles going through the nine of swords i like that there is something expended there could be communication or also you definitely healing something with your patience, accepting that you don't have control over the situation. You only have control over how you face this ending, how you face this period of transformation, because with the dead card, it's definitely some type of transforma transformative energy you're going through. Meaning that, when you get out of this energy and when you look back, 
you're going to be feeling like you're different, like it changed you, like it happened for a reason. Um, and the, that card is all about how we face the experience, how we are facing ending. Uh, in the traditional version of the death card, you can see, you know, death on, on the horse and then every, the strength card, the hierophant, they're all facing death. Uh, you can either keep your head up or you can keep on bringing yourself down. Again, it's like you have control over that, over how you are accepting, how you are embracing all of this. And again, definitely something with patience here. I don't know if someone owes you something. I feel like they owe you more than just an apology or a conversation. It feels like, again, major unfinished business, something that was supposed to happen in a certain way and never got to... Ooh, my throat is killing me, so there's definitely something here. There is a situation where you've been patient, you've been open, um, and you never got what you were supposed to get out of this. And that's really frustrating. That created a lot of pain, a lot of frustration. Um, you feel like someone played you or someone just wasn't completely honest with you and you just want answers. I definitely feel like what you need and want is like confirmation that this is over or not. Because I don't think you know. I think you are definitely in the unknown right now. Okay, so potential outcome, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Death card. To me, there's more waiting, but there is a lot of learning, a lot of transformation. The way you perceive this in the near future is going to be completely different. Why is that? Oh, Ten of Cups. So this cycle is going to end and it's going to open the door to something new. Again, I knew it since the beginning of this reading. There's something better for you waiting. It's right there. It's right there when you release this energy. I know it feels like a test. I, it feels like the universe is testing you big time. That is just it happens a lot. I feel like Taurus, we go through that a lot. Um. I don't know what this person had to teach you and you're still learning a lot. And again, you're if you're still attached, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I feel like there could have been an unfair situation, definitely. So it's hard to get out of this. But you're going to be getting out of it. You're going to be ending this cycle. The Ten of Cups is here. You're finding yourself again, finding the answers within you. And I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. You don't need any external validation. You don't need this person to explain anything to you. You owe that to yourself. You owe it to yourself to move on and to release this energy for now. What happens after we close the cycle with the Ten of Cups? It feels like this whole situation was for you to find your true happiness. Ten of Swords. And the Seven of Wands. A lot of repetitive number. Ten, ten, nine, nine, seven, seven. Uh, eight, eight, two, two. It's all repetitive numbers, guys. We have seven here, seven, seven, seven. Listen, there's like so many repetitive number in this reading. All of this had to happen for you to find your true happiness. Right now, it might seem unclear. Again, with the seven of wands, I think, I think like you're still frustrated. You still feel like this is unfair. Um, at one point, you could have fought like for this person or for this thing that you really wanted. For some of you, it was definitely a job. And for others, it's going to be about another person, about a situation. And I feel like it brought you so much pain. At one point, you were completely miserable because of this. But you're attached. 
you attach again to the feelings of the beginning. And I think it hasn't been this way for a while. Like how it felt in the beginning, the excitement, the passion, um, the excitement of being in the unknown. And now being in the unknown is just, it's not comfortable. We're moving on from that. And honestly, Taurus, I've been feeling this energy of moving on in your ratings for a while now. And some of you might be tired to hear uh, about it, but it's definitely important. It feels like your guides are like, hey, come on. You're going to be doing just fine without this. You know it's not necessarily good for you. You know there's other options out there, better, more expensive, more nourishing options. You deserve better than that. Taurus, you deserve more than the bare minimum. A lot more. Remember that. It's coming out strongly for me. You deserve more than the bare minimum. And I think that's exactly what, what's been happening. The moon at the bottom of the deck. So again, the unknown. Not knowing what's going to happen and being stuck in that energy. But this is Pisces energy. Pisces is... The end of a chapter, it's the last sign of the zodiac. Um, there's a lot of water energy here. I do feel like you could have water in your chart. You could be, again, dealing with a water sign. Or it's something that creates so much intense emotion. Like, someone makes you kind of lose control, you know? Um... I'm hearing a song in my mind right now. Uh, I don't know if you know the song this Frank Ocean song called Self Control, and that's coming up for me strongly. Um, you made me lose my self control, you know, that's something he says in that song. And I feel like this person, that's what they did. They really know how to, how to shake you, how to, again, make you lose your self control. But I think that you're finding control again, you're finding stability. You're learning a lot right now. And this is definitely life-changing energy. We have the Shreen card, the High Priestess, the Hierophant, the Death card. It's like transformative energy at its best. You're changed. You're moving through this, this loop, this uh, really powerful energy right now. And it might be overwhelming. And again, I, I think you're definitely keeping a lot for yourself so let's pick an oracle card from the moonology i want to know i want to know more for us taurus a new romantic cycle begins i told you there is something better waiting for you okay taurus I'm so sure of this energy that I'm going to be filming part two of this reading right away. And I'm going to be posting it today. I definitely want you to have a part two where I channel this new beginning. I want to move out from this cycle. I feel like it's important I do that today. I don't do that a lot. I think I never really did that just a couple times in the, on a channel, but I'm going to film part two right away. So make sure to tune in because there's something new starting for you. And this is definitely like some type of door you're passing through. It feels like it's, it's just... You're so close from releasing this energy that I need to know what happens next, okay? So make sure to tune in for part two. Thank you so much for being here, Taurus, and take exquisite care of yourself, okay? Bye-bye.